Happy New Year! How are you doing? I am great and uh, welcome to the Agnes Nozizi show. I know you're asking yourself, why is this one telling us Happy New Year? We have not seen each other on this platform this year. So it's only fair. And by the way, we are Kenyans. We tell each other Happy New Year until after December. If December gets and we have not seen each other, <laughs> we still tell each other Happy New Year. My name is Agnes Nonsisi. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for everybody who's been nagging me and asking me, where is the content? Where is the content? Here it is. This year might be a little bit different. No much change. Just a little tweaking here and there so that we can be able, of course, to have great conversation. Thank you for showing me love 2022 and also for being here in 2023. There'll be wonderful content, so please feel free to subscribe. And uh, I want us to start the year, or rather I would love to share with you guys the word of the year for me. You know, the word that is guiding me this year. I started this uh, trend of choosing the word that will guide me uh, for the year last year in 2022. And for me, the word for last year was stability. And I believe in speaking things, in uh, saying things that you want to have. And the reason as to why my word for last year was stability is because uh, we know COVID-19 came in 2019, there about March, that's when it's it's striked and all of us is locked down. There's so much instability. And uh, for me, I, I don't know if you know this, but I had made a career move that was not very wise, very much, you know, uh, well calculated. All in the name of, you know, looking for greener pastures, which is fine, by the way. And those are mistakes that we make in life. So I, I, I had my career was shaken since 2018 because it didn't go as I had anticipated and I was rendered jobless. Also, uh, we have been in the music, I have been in the music business for a very long time. We have a music company, Terrazzo New Media, which is a PR uh, company that is based here in Nairobi, Kenya. And you know, when COVID comes, it affects the entertainment business. And also remember, this is an, a, a, the entertainment business has been also unstable actually even when there was no covid it's one of those things and it's just the, not the entertainment business when you have a company you're not assured of income you are basically either you're self-employed or you're sorry self-employed or an entrepreneur there's a difference by the way but either way when you do not have a consistent source of income if anything happens that will shake you here and there then you become destabilized so 2019 we all chill by the way COVID really made me appreciate entertainment and specifically TikTok. Oh, we created content. You know, when I go back to my TikTok right now, where if you have not followed me, you need to follow me. I look at how much I created. I looked at how much, I mean, it it was sort of stress-free. We were worried, of course, what will happen, but we managed. So 2019 came, 2020, there we are. And actually... Uh, then come 2021 so we are still in this state of limbo state of you know we spend all our savings and even emotionally there's something that happens all around so you're destabilized emotionally you're destabilized uh, mentally because they go hand in hand because you're thinking oh my god what will happen tomorrow where is my career headed my talent is here what do i do with it so there is that instability and then there is the physical instability. I'm sure majority of us, COVID just came, it destabilized our bodies. The other day, we're having a conversation with um, with someone now telling them, even, I think, the, whoever, those people who got the vaccine, I did get the vaccine. It destabilized our bodies, you know? Like, how I get my menstrual cycle right now, it has changed, and it changed after the vaccine. So, instability was all round covid came with serious instabilities and of course so it's financially mentally emotionally even spiritually because sometimes you wonder what does god what is god's plan over my life what is it so by the time 2021 was ending for me i had just gotten um 
you know, the role at the current station where I'm having. And it was not permanent because by then I was sitting in for uh, the previous host who had gone for maternity leave. So I, I was not sure whether this job is going to be confirmed or not. You're there. And then your tenure ends when, you know, the, the, she comes back from, so you're, you're in state of limbo. So come 2022. And really, really, when I was thinking about the work, what was that thing that I was desiring? And I really was desiring stability. Stability is one thing that really, really was in my heart when the year was starting 2022. And let me tell you, there's power of speaking things. And I prayed to God. I really want to be stable. I really want to be stable all around. Spiritually, I really want you to affirm me, that you're there with me, that this, this, this talent, this career is not, is not all lost because the media business, when you rely on your talent to make an income, sometimes you can feel lost. So I really wanted that affirmation, that stability, even mentally and also spiritually. I mean, spiritually, mentally, physically, and also financially. And let me touch on the mental bit also, because even when COVID came, remember, we, we, we usually busy burying our lives into work. If you're working, you go to work, you have no time to sit with yourself. And really that time allowed us to sit our, with ourselves, to see, oh my God, where we are ailing, uh, our inner wounds, just to sit down and be with yourself. So come 2022, stability. And for me, it really, really happened. So many things stabilized. In, actually, I can say it came to pass, which I am really, really, really happy about. And... Let me tell you, when you ask for things, they happen. And sometimes, me, I am that one person. I don't have in-betweens. <laughs> I am an extremist. If I am busy, I am busy. I, I, I don't know. And actually, I don't know just how to chill and be. I, I, I don't. So, come 2023, let me tell you, when, by the time 2022 was coming to an end, I was a B. I was a bit so much happened and i'm really really grateful for that like i remember in october we did my mom's ratio immediately after that i started my youtube channel and you know pushing it creating content i have an active job i am a mother i am a wife i am everything so i was feeling like oh, my life was moving on a fast pace but also generally generally i am that one person who always focuses on the next move. Once I am here, I have achieved what I wanted. And then I'm like, what is next? So when I was thinking about the, the word, the word that I want for me to have in 2023, it is ease. Ease is E-A-S-E. -E. Just I want ease. And I want whatever is mine to come my way. Not that I will not work. Please, and I don't want to confuse this with laziness, with just, you know, being blasé about things, you know, as I'm out there putting my foot, uh, my best foot forward, whatever is mine, may it find me. Because we are in a space where, because of what is happening, because of everybody posting whatever, their successes, their win, I'm signing this check, I'm signing this deal, I'm doing this. Nobody is posting the struggle. So we might tend to think, oh my God, whatever was meant to be mine, maybe it has missed me. Maybe, you know, there's that that goes on in your mind. And this year, as I'm desiring just to have ease, whatever is meant to be mine, let it be mine. Whatever gig I'm meant to MC, as I put quotations out there, as I send my work out there, may it find me. Because honestly, it can't really, really be tough. So for me, not laziness, but just God's blessings that whatever he has kept for me this year. And onwards, may it find me with ease. May I not struggle. Working, yes, work has never been a bone of contention. We have to put in the work. We have to work smart. We have to work hard. But as we do that, may we blessings come to me in as soon as this is in locate. May my own blessings come and locate me. And let me tell you how I realized I just don't slow down, and I need also to learn how to slow down. Uh, it's because last year, as the year was ending, ending we always have a, a, a dinner with the girls, like a monthly meetup with you know my girls, where we just sit down and look at how the month has been and share a good meal and laughter and all that. And I remember as I was going to meet them, I had just come from home, 
that time I didn't have a house garden and I go to the kids with my barber because my hair needed to be made. And now as I was coming from the barber to where I had parked the car, I was literally running. And I remember having a moment of asking myself, no, Sizi, why are you running? Did you remember you were saying, Morife, why are you running? Like, no, Sizi, why are you running to? You're not even late. You, you, you know, like, of course, Georgina, and she'll see this video. She had not left the house. She's the one who came latest. When you was telling me, I am on the way, and I'm here just rushing. And I remember even because I stopped at a shop to, you know, get some money from M-Pesa. I remember asking myself, where are you rushing to? What, what is the rush? And that is me. And it's a challenge for me this year. I need to also to ease into things. By the way, just arrived there elegantly. I feel like I just don't want to run anymore because it's, it's not working for me. Sometimes I just, this year, I tend to just stop and enjoy the present moment. I know. It's a survival tactic that I've always had. I worry about so much. There's so much I am working on, but that is my word of the year. Ease. Whatever is mine, may it look at me as I work. And also, just to slow down. Enjoy the moment. If you look back, whatever you have right now, you did have it a year ago. You're not guaranteed it's going to be there. And it's my hope that it's going to be there and it's going to be more. But slowing down, enjoying what is there as much as we are focusing on tomorrow i'm interested to know do you have do you work with a word of the year is there a word that you have for your year 2023 please you can share in the comment and i would love to know i would like to call this segment also feel free to suggest a name and i was thinking about this segment because it's where i'll be alone i'll be sharing my journey and um uh, I feel like I just need to, you know, come here and just share a little bit about what my life has been and the life lessons. And um, what do you like to call it? For me, I, I, I had a name for it. Sister to sister. Just that. I mean, brethren, hi. <laughs> I don't know about you. But there's a part of me that is feeling like if I was a young girl, if I got somebody just... I feel like actually in this video, I'm talking to my 20 young something myself. My version, yeah, my younger version. That's, that's what I feel like because now I know what I know. And of course, uh, there's more to learn. But up to here, what have I learned? And I'll be sharing a lot about my financial journey, my spiritual journey, my motherhood journey my relationship journey so every little bit here and there so from one sister to another what is your word for 2023 and with that note i wish you all the best i know it has come late but better late than never i wish you a great year and whatever is meant to be yours, may it locate you may you stop and have that moment i'm not saying we be lazy just stop and enjoy what we have right now because nobody knows about tomorrow but we serve a god who knows about tomorrow you can share this video you can like it you can leave a comment i will really really appreciate it and also if you have not subscribed please subscribe because there will be more wonderful content coming your way until then agnes don't here see you in the next video